Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're uh, cutting through the noise on a really critical update from the Indian education sector. We're diving into a pivotal new circular from CBSE, the Central Board of Secondary Education. It's dated July 8, 2025, and it lays out a pretty significant uh, mandatory shift for all CBSE schools. Think of this as your quick guide, your shortcut to understanding what this change is, why it matters, and crucially, what schools need to be doing like right now. Right. And at the heart of this circular is something called SAFAL. That's the Structured Assessment for Analyzing Learning, specifically the Key Stage Assessment, or SAFAL KSA. Now, this isn't just, you know, another exam. It's designed as a competency-based diagnostic assessment. The whole point is to help schools, help teachers really understand what students can do at their grade level. It's about identifying learning gaps, moving beyond just rote learning, and ultimately improving how teaching happens. And this ties directly into the National Education Policy 2020, specifically PARA 4.40. What's interesting is this isn't brand new out of the blue. CFL KSA actually had a successful pilot run back in 2024. Yeah, they ran it in about um, 10,000 schools, so they've got some experience with it. Okay, 10,000 schools is quite a pilot, but here's where it gets really interesting, right? For this upcoming 2025-26 session, it's now mandatory for every single CBSE school. No longer a pilot. So what does this actually mean? for uh, students going into grade six and grade nine, and maybe more urgently for the schools themselves, what do they do now? Exactly, the mandatory part is the big shift and the immediate steps are, well, time sensitive. Registration for this SAFEL KSA 2025-26 actually opened just yesterday, July 8th. And the window was really short. It closes on July 22nd, 2025. Wow. Okay. So schools need to get onto the CBSE SAFEL portal pretty quickly. They'll use their LOC credentials. That's their standard login for CBSE stuff. The portal is cbcsefball.inlogin. And they need to get their data ready. It's not trivial. Basic school info, sure, but also detailed teacher data, specifically teachers who taught the kids now in grades 6 and 9 when they were in the previous grades, mapping those teachers to subjects English, Hindi, Maths, EVS, or Science, and of course all the student details. It's uh, quite a list. It sounds like a lot to pull together quickly, and I hear there's a really strong push towards doing this digitally. Oh, absolutely. CBSE is making it clear. The main way this assessment should happen is digital, assuming schools have the necessary tech setup. Okay. Necessary tech setup. What does that actually involve? Sounds like it could be demanding. It is, yeah. The requirements are pretty specific, which tells you they're serious about a stable digital test. Schools need dedicated exam servers and client machines, usually in their computer labs. We're talking specific operating systems, Windows or Linux versions, decent processors, quite a bit of RAM, 16 GB plus for the server, 4 GB plus for clients, fast hard drives, preferably SSDs, and here's a key one, a wired Ethernet connection, at least 100 NDPs. They explicitly say no Wi-Fi for the exam server. No Wi-Fi, really? Yeah, for stability. They want to avoid dropouts during the exam. Plus, schools need to manage things like OS updates, antivirus, firewalls, basically disable things that might interfere during the test, and ensure uninterrupted power. So yes, it's a serious setup. Raises questions about readiness across the board, you know. Definitely. But okay, what if a school just can't due to, as they say, unavoidable circumstances? Is there any flexibility? There is, but it comes with a big condition. There's a one-time chance to use the OMR-based pen and paper mode you know, the traditional bubble sheets. Ah, uh, okay. You the know? bubble sheets. So there's an out, but just once. Just once. And here's the catch you mentioned. To use the OMR option, schools have to submit a formal joint undertaking signed by both the school manager and the principal. And this undertaking isn't just saying we can't do digital now. It's a commitment. A commitment to upgrade their digital infrastructure and be ready for digital mode by the next academic session, 2026-27. Huh. So it's really just delaying the inevitable digital switch. Essentially, yes. It underlines the long-term direction. It does make you wonder how schools, especially in diverse settings, will manage this required upgrade. Right. So just to quickly recap the timeline for everyone listening, registration closes July 22nd, 2025, very soon. Then you've got field tests and mock tests happening around August, September 2025. The actual SAFEL assessment itself is scheduled for November, December 2025. And then the reports, the results should be generated around April 2026. And if you have questions, uh, there are contact details, phone, a con a WhatsApp numbers are plus 919968313254 and plus 919966866. 3255. Or you can email safehealth2025 at cbcshiksha.enin. So wrapping this up, what's the big picture here? What does this all really mean? Well, this deep dive clearly shows CBSE making a very strategic move. 
towards standardized competency-based assessment and definitely towards digital. For schools, it seems it's not just about ticking a box for compliance. It's about using these diagnostic results to actually genuinely improve learning. Exactly. This initiative really could change how we track student progress and think about teaching methods across India. But it absolutely prompts some important questions, doesn't it? How will this mandatory shift, especially to digital, with these quite strict tech requirements, impact educational equity? What about innovation in schools that might be struggling with resources? That's definitely something to keep thinking about as this, uh, this new chapter in Indian education starts to unfold.